Hi. So when I do my semi-professional photography uh, and I take photos or videos, uh, what I'll do is I'll post them onto my Google Drive, I'll share the folder, and then I'll send that link to the client so they can look at their photos or videos or whatever. And uh, recently I was looking at some stuff on, on Google Sites and thought, wow, that actually, actually that could be very useful if I could put my stuff in the folder onto Google Sites. Well, I guess uh, this all started where um, I take photos of flowers for Wagner Floral Design, and he just puts it on their little website to sell stuff, just one little, but they're, you know, they're low res. But sometimes clients call and say, well, I want to see more detail, and he doesn't have any way to show them the details, so I thought, okay, maybe it's just too hard, or it doesn't look as nice just to send them to a directory on uh, my Google Drive. I can uh, make it so it goes through a Google site and it'll look, look a lot nicer, and that does indeed, uh, does look nice, but there are some issues. And uh, pro programmatically, I was trying to solve them, but now I think I have a workaround that's just as good, so I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably going to drop this project for now of programming a way to take Google Drive photos and put them into Google Sites or any other website. Though I still feel there's stuff to do here for now. I just want to do a video because if you're watching this, you may not know about Google Sites and how useful it is, and it's free. It comes with your... Google Drive, you can create as many as you want. Uh, they're very cool, and I definitely recommend uh, spending half an hour um, playing with it. I'll take you through it uh, now very, very quickly. So here's a, uh, you know, folder where I have my Wagner flowers, you know, so each whatever season he'll have some. So recently we did Christmas arrangements, and I'll throw the, f the files in here. Uh, I've also created, however, a, a, a site. So if you go to New, uh, More, and you go to Google Sites, you can create a Google site, like as I just did. You can create, again, as many as you want. There's sort of like a, um, this is another type of uh, Google Docs document. Uh, so here's the one I created. I'm going to double click on it, open it up. Uh, and it's sort of like a very simple um, like WordPress or blog. It's not, no, it's not really a blog. It's, it actually doesn't do blogging well at all. But it's a, very, it's a very, I think they actually made this because within Google or other companies, they wanted a way to, when they did a presentation on some new technology for a startup, the person would want to put a bunch of graphs and put some images and maybe some audio files or whatever, and they'd want to collect them all from their Google Drive. And they thought, oh, we're going to create a thing that's very simple where we can take all, all our Google Drive stuff and just put it into a presentation. I think that's the main design of this thing, of how it came to be, I don't know. But I mean, again, it's, you know, you could, if there's anything you want to present and you store a lot of stuff on Google Drive, it's very useful. So, you know, it, it, it comes with some, you know, some themes you can pick and you can change the theme, very simple, just change this to impression just for now. And, uh, and then you would start with a page, so the home page, and then under the home page, you can click here and you can just add sub pages. Um, so if I go to oops, home page and I click on this arrow, you can see I create some sub pages to the home page. So I create a sub page for each season. So for autumn, the first one I did, here's a, uh, here's that page. Now to create this, um, what I did is, um, uh, well, I'll just delete this for now. So they make it very simple. You just drag and drop. So you can insert you know, text box, images, embed drive. There's many things you can do. Down here, you can do an image carousel, YouTube videos. It's very easy to drag content. However, a problem with it is you can't really customize it much. There's no... You can add real... I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, it's... Again, if you just want something very simple, drag and drop. This is incredible. Uh, however, what I want for this thing is when a potential client comes to him and says, I want to look at a big picture, I want them to see a big picture. And if I just put an image carousel or just an image here into Google Sites, you can't download it or make it bigger. It just scales to whatever size the page is. So instead, I would say, okay, from Drive, I'm going to go into Photos, Video, uh, Product Photos, Wagner Flowers. I'm going to go to Autumn. And you see it says here, insert. So let's insert that here. It puts something like a grid sort of thing here so you can size it. I'm just gonna make this as big as possible uh, for here. And then under settings, again, it's very basic. The two view types list a grid. I'm just gonna put it in grid and I say done. 
And then I put an explanation above here to view or download a large version of an image, click on it, scroll through all images, click in folder, all images in folder, click on icon right. So this will become more uh, obvious a little bit later. Okay, so this is for my, my, I think I'm gonna publish it here. Now when I publish it, uh, I can go view the published site and um, I'm just clicking. Now, unless you want, this doesn't actually get shown on the internet unless somebody has this specific link. So it's, I call it like semi-private. Um, so here's the uh, full one. Uh, let me go back to this. So if we're in now the, I'm sorry. We're now in the autumn. So you see here, if I click on here, I can go into the actual my drive. It's a link to my drive, which I'm shared. So now I can go backwards. I can, the client can go backwards and forwards to the, the, the images. If they want to download one, they can download or print it. So all that great Google Drive functionality is right here. Um, and uh, that's, that's working. That's good enough for me. I would like it to be more customized. Uh, in other words, like, well, they can click on one of these links, but then they can't go, well, that's interesting way. Can they then? Uh, oh, so they can't. I didn't think that they could do this when they only click on one link. Okay, so great. So that you don't even need to, looks like you don't even need to click this. Um, well, I guess you do. No, oh, yeah, if you click on one link here, um, where is the, uh, okay. Right, this is the problem. So if you're in here, and let's just say I just click on this flower, see it only opens that flower. I can't go left, right, I can't browse it. Um, I can only browse it if I'm in the drive mode. Uh, but again, you know, for the ease of use of this thing, the, the, the speed of which you can set it up and you know, all this other kind of stuff, um, this is to me uh, a real incredible thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go into what I was working on uh, with Google Drive um, and programming to, I was gonna basically, I'd want to get like a list of, um, of uh, just independent, each image um, URL where a person could open the image from the Google Drive and also download it and expand and zoom in whatever, and then create a, like a grid of images uh, again, I found this is going to work well enough, but I'll show you, and this is almost from my notes later on, uh, how this, uh, how this uh, works. So, uh, and also some of the problems, uh, well, not problems, but issues of dealing with Google Drive uh, resources. So the way that I understand it, unfortunately, it's not like you can uh, call a list of images in your drive and it'll give you all the folders and the images recursively like most software used to work or works elsewhere. Anyway, the way it seems that Google works is that each image or file gets a unique ID. Um, so when you, uh, uh, well, if you look at any uh, a photo, well, I'm just, let me just even go here. Uh, so if you look, see this, this code right here, this is basically the ID of the, of the image. And in order to figure out what folder it is, uh, you need to find out what folder ID is associated with this ID. So when you're programming it, uh, you know, first you have to get the AO authentication from Google, you have to figure all that out, this, all this stuff does, but okay, so now we go to get a results. Uh, for any file, what I would have to do is send, know what directory it's in. So I know it's in this directory. Again, this is an ID of a directory. It's in parents, the parents directory, and it's this image. Uh, and it will go through and it will give me a list. In fact, let me just run that right now. Uh, no files found. Why no files, files found? Let me do all folders. All right, so here, um, it's just basically finding the first hundred. And you can see, okay, this name of the file, and then it's the ID. And then if I want to go, oh, I know why, because I deleted a bunch of folders earlier today. So, um, <laughs> uh, so let me uh, figure out a folder ID. It's probably just as well. Um, so I'll go into, 
um, drive. I'm going to my drive. Photos, videos, product photography, Wagner flowers. So here is the ID for this folder. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to Visual Studio and I'm going to say, okay, show me all the images in this specific folder ID. And you can't use names as far as I know, like meaningful names like Autumn 2019. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to run this. Well, let me just clear this now. Now run this. Right, so now you can see each image in that folder, the name, and then the unique ID. So in order for me to do what I wanted to do, I'm going to have to build sort of a table that associates the names with these IDs, and then these IDs have to go back to the all the folders. and. Uh, it's, I can see it's just going to be a bit of work and I'm not going to do it because what I have works well enough. Uh, but if, you know, in the future, I guess what I'd like to do is a, um, again, using this, keep building this out and then uh, here I can show you. Uh, so we go back to the site. Oh, it's right here. So I could do a page and I could do an embed and in here you can do embed codes. You can put HTML. So I create a program to go get the Google, all the images or IDs um, to get to the image and ID just to go to the folder. And then I build a grid, maybe be nicer looking or actually not a grid, it has a grid right here. But let's just say I'll do a slideshow where it's like, I get the HTML code here, I put it in and you skip through each image, you know, just like their um, image carousel but unlike the built-in image carousel, when you click on an image, it would go uh, load the full image from Google Drive. I mean, I'm pretty, believe, pretty sure this is possible, and I can put the code here, and maybe one day, uh, but for now, for now. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, that's it. I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna drop this project for now, um, and thanks for watching.